Hello again. Nonpack here for another video. One of the main reasons for my upgrading to the S22 Ultra is the camera system. Smartphone camera technology has advanced to the point that people are using them as their primary video device for recording events. Most people nowadays use their phones for capturing short video clips for social media, like TikTok, Instagram, and all the other platforms. But I come from the old school of using camcorders to record longer events, not for sharing online, but for saving memories for later viewing. However, because of the form factor of smartphones, I never felt comfortable using my smartphone for anything other than a couple of minutes. Since I am not a professional producer, I don't need a SLR camera rig or prosuma camera. I just need something to record my kids' school play. In this two-part series, I'm going to review six accessories to help in using my S22 Ultra as a camcorder replacement. In this video, let's talk about device protection. With a device valued at over $1,500, I want to be sure my phone can survive some bumps while in use. First thing is adding a screen protector. Bargain priced quality screen protectors for the S22 Ultra can be hard to find, due to its curved edges, and the in-screen fingerprint sensor. Since I wanted scratch protection as well as increased durability, I looked for a hard, tampered glass, full coverage screen protector rather than a film protector. And since glass protectors usually crack often as they protect the screen, I wanted something a bit less expensive, to keep replacement costs down. I took a chance with a tampered glass screen protector by Better Future, AACL from Amazon. At only $12, on sale, for two glass screens, it was cheap enough to try with little risk. After applying the glass, the fingerprint sensor still works, and the screen is now a bit more protected against scratches and minor hits. I will link to the company's installation video and the Amazon vendor I bought it from, in the description below. Next, this phone needs a case. I have seen some durability tests that have shown the S22 Ultra is not as durable as having Gorilla Glass Victus Plus would make one believe, especially around the cameras. I want a case that can be on all the time, but not one so bulky that it would make my phone a brick. It's important to protect those edges from direct hits. So, I selected the Spigen Liquid Air case. Slim, light and durable. It is made of a rubberized plastic, thick enough to provide some shock protection to the glass back. It is flexible, and the edges will allow it to grip the phone securely. Has individual cutouts for the camera lenses, which recess them below the surface. The top and bottom are fully covered with cutouts where needed. The phone slips right in, and the rounded edge of the screen protector doesn't interfere with the case's edges. It has a textured finish which makes it less slippery and easy to grab. The buttons are also protected and have a clicky feel to them. You can feel the raised top and bottom edges, which provide screen protection when you lay the phone down on its face. The case corners are a little bit raised, adding a bumper if the phone fell on the corner. I now feel confident my phone will survive a short drop while I'm recording video. However, the best drop protection for any phone is not to let it drop in the first place. Now this may not be for everyone, but I believe you will be less prone to having your phone hit the floor if you use a lanyard. Rather than just using any existing hole on your case, or worse making one, to attach a lanyard, I found these nice lanyard connector tags on Amazon. Just pull off your case, and slip this tag with the end through the opening for your power port. This gives a nice loop to connect the lanyard or wrist strap of your choice. With the phone back in the case, the tag remains in place. Just connect the lanyard or wrist strap of your choice to the loop and wrap it around your hand when holding your phone. With the phone now tethered to your hand, there is no way it will slip from your grip and hit the ground. Now that the phone is protected, front and back, and secured to my hand, I am a bit more confident to take it everywhere and ready to take videos on the go. Well that concludes part 1 of this series. In part 2, I will be reviewing some extra accessories for the S22 Ultra to make it feel a bit more like a camcorder, for those longer recording times. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.